What's up guys? We are going to talk about what the best subscription recurring revenue payment processing apps, that is a mouthful, that you should be using for your subscription box. If you are using a platform like a WordPress, which I'm not even going to go into WordPress because I hate it so much, but if you're using Shopify and you are wondering, okay, I'm going to use Shopify, I'm going to buy a theme, I'm going to buy a template, etc but how do I do the whole of recurring revenue, which is the key part of a subscription box. So you can get a customer in and then they get charged on auto pay automatically each month. So I'm gonna kind of make this simple for you. I'm gonna walk through two subscription apps that I think are good. We're gonna look at them together. We're going to look at the price difference, what they offer, what the difference is. And then we're going to look at a couple examples of subscription boxes that use each of those two payment processing apps, just so you can kind of look. And I'm going to give you a really awesome inside look into how to essentially spy in your competitors. So if you find a website that you like, you, you're doing market research, you find a subscription box and you're like, I wish I could just copy what they're doing. Well, now you can because there's an app, which I'm gonna show you, you have to watch the video and you can plug in their website and it will tell you all the different apps they're using. And so you can tell if they're using Shopify, you can tell if they're using insert subscription app. So it's a really, really cool. All right, my friends, if we have not met, my name is Carrie Fitzgerald and I'm an e-commerce and a subscription box business coach, strategist, and your best friend when it comes to starting or scaling your product-based business because I've already been there and I've made all the mistakes and I don't want you to make the same mistakes as me. I'm also gonna teach you all the things I did right, which there are a few of those things too. All right, let's dive into it. All right, so when you're looking at finding the best this goes for any app that you're looking for for Shopify, but for this example, if you're looking for a app for a subscription service, this also works for if you have an e-commerce business and you're wanting to do recurring payments. So if you sell scrunchies and you want to do, you know, people can order scrunchies every single month on auto pay, then this app would also work for you. But if you have a subscription box, you're using Shopify, you're not using a website platform such as Subly or CrateJoy, you wanna have your own Shopify store, you need an app that will do recurring payments for you because otherwise your Shopify store won't do that and you can't do a subscription box because that is what a subscription box is. It's like it recur the payment is recurring every month or every other month or whatever. So I'm gonna help you cut through the noise and static and not waste your time and not test 20 different apps before you choose one, which is a waste of your time too, especially if you're already getting customers that have paid, that becomes a nightmare. I once worked with a client who was using Recurly and they wanted to change to something else because Recurly wasn't doing, I'm sorry, they were using Payroll and they did not like it. And they wanted to change to something else, they basically had to move all of their customers over to a new payment processing app and it was a nightmare. So find one that you like and stick with it. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to recommend two options for you, not 20 options, not 10 options, two options, and just choose one and run with it. The first one is going to be recharge. The second one is going to be bold subscriptions. Both of these have very reputable, um, they're reputable in the online space. They have good reviews and they're just known to be really good options. There are other apps here that have subscription options such as Yachtpo. Yachtpo is an app that's mainly used for, um, it's a lot of things that you can use for Yachtpo like customer loyalty, um, UGC, and they also do subscriptions. You know, don't get Yachtpo just if you want to do a subscription box service, you know, look at a, a payment processor that's specifically created just for payment processing. So recharge is going to be the one that we can start off with. So what I'm going to do here is just walk you through is as if I was going through this and doing my own research to figure out what 
payment processing app for my subscription box I would choose. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of look at the basics up here, like skim through. But in the end, when you're a new business, the price is one of the most important things that's a factor. You don't need all the bells and whistles. You just need not to spend a bazillion dollars. So off the bat, this feels a little high to me. If you're a new business, not quite making a lot of money yet, 99 bucks off the bat is kind of a lot to spend. So let's just keep that in the back of our head and just have an objective mind here. So $99 for the month is what you would pay plus 1.25% of probably whatever the charge is and then plus 19 cents per transaction. So this is sort of a hefty amount of things that they're gonna charge you for, but you know, just keep in mind. And then obviously the pro version is 500 a month. Uh, unless you are in a very experienced store, this is obviously not going to be relevant for you. Um, and sometimes when you're looking at apps, they don't always give you the cheap option first. So always click on see all pricing options. And if you come here, you can see that that is all their options. And if you want to look here, you can look at all the things it includes. So, you know, the basic things that you're looking for are subscription payments, which they all include that. You're looking at, um, I would say, if there's any customer service in here. So let me see. I don't see anything in here, but that's okay. Um, right here, I really like this churn pre prevention tools. So passwordless login, pause, skip subscriptions. Pausing skip subscriptions is super important. So whatever payment processor that you use, you want to make sure that they can do pause and skip subscriptions. Super important. Um, unified Shopify checkout. That one you need as well. Um, you know, secure, reliable payment analytics. So basically like basic stuff here that you would definitely need. And then if we scroll down, you can kind of like play around with this kind of stuff, which I think is fun, like churn and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, okay. So they offer a 30 day plan. I'm sorry, a 30 day trial. Okay. So this one looks pretty good. Um, the next thing I would say is always look at reviews. If you're going to sign up with an app, always go through and look at people's reviews. So what are people complaining about? What are people saying? Do they have good customer service? Customer service for me is such an important one because I get really frustrated when I'm using programs, platforms, apps, whatever, that you have a question or there's something wrong and you just get pushed over to an email. And I'm dealing with that right now with my business book launch. I'm having an issue with a huge issue and like no one will get back to me. And it's been over a week and a half now and I'm supposed to be launching my book next month and I can't unless this is basically fixed and no one is helping me and it's so frustrating. So look for customer support. How? What kind of customer support do they offer? Do they offer a chat box? Do they offer email only? Do they offer phone? Like what do they offer? So Okay, so so this is good. It's a little expensive if you're new, but let's just look at Bold now. So off the bat, Bold is half the price and they offer double the free trial amount. So that's a really good thing off the bat. Always watch the videos, look at what they offer, blah, 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 blah. Like that's obviously something that you need to do. Um, let's see. Okay, so cancellation. Da, 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 da. Okay. So $49.99 a month plus 1% of orders containing subscription. Okay, so their transactional fees are also cheaper than re recharge. And you can kind of double like dive into like the specifics here. Obviously, they have more information here. Look at the reviews. Um, look right here. Blown away by customer service. Um, Shintac fix an issue for me that honestly I was expecting a we can't do anything about that. So right off the bat, I think that's awesome um, because you're getting good customer support. So again, you can kind of go through and just look at the specifics here. Like I mentioned with Recharge, 
being able to, for people to manage the subscription, pause, skip, et cetera, you can do that here. You can add subscriptions to one product, a collection, your entire store. So these look, this looks really, really good for me. So if we're going to be looking at bold versus recharge, if you're a newer store, you're not quite making a lot of money yet, I definitely go with bold. So let's just keep it simple and let's go with bold. And now what I want to do is just show you what, like how to figure out what it looks like in real life. So if you go to any of those apps here, you're always going to be able to find, they'll, they'll always have some sort of a, um, coffee bean co they'll always have some kind of, Oh, bloom. Okay. Right here. So recharge and bloom. So bloom is those, They have a lot of products. I also love their branding so much. So, oh, beautiful packaging. Sorry, I get I get very distracted with beautiful packaging. So, you basically can find a customer success story or something like that, and you can look at what it would look like in real life. So, right here. We have Who Gives a Crap? It's an awesome name, by the way. We have Native. We have Ugora. I think it's called Ugora. We have Mary Ruth. We have, and a lot of these are not subscriptions, but they, they could be. Like this um, urinary care, that could be a subscription. Toilet paper, that's a subscription. And sorry, when I when I say subscription, I mean subscription box. So actually the toilet paper is probably not a subscription box. It's just a subscription. So anyway, you have to just like do your due diligence and look at like what, look at case studies. And then you can look at what it looks like in real life. So for example, if we go to Fuego Box. This, this is a platform that is using recharge. So if we skip through all this jazz and go here, we go to checkout. I've already like added stuff in here, but I wanted just, just to see what it looked like. So you can see up here powered by recharge. If you hover at the top, it also says recharge app. So that's also a giveaway that that's what they're using. So basically... Um, if you added your information here, there's going to be something that says like terms and conditions, like you agree to pay each month until canceled. And then up here, it says two bottle monthly extra hot sauce subscription pay as you go subscription. So anyway, this is kind of what it would look like. It looks great. This is recharge. And then to find out how to find out what a website is using for their payment processor and website, you can go to builtwith.com and then type in, hold on, I'm just going to copy this and go back. So you go to builtwith.com, you type in the website, the URL, and then you can kind of scroll down and see they're using Shopify. And then if you keep scrolling, you'll see recharge as well. Recharge payments. So that's how you know. And then we're not going to look at bold. Now that I've told you how to do that, you do the same thing. You go to the bold page. So go to bold subscriptions, find some case studies somewhere. Let's see. View demo store. Oh, look at that. Bold subscriptions. Oh, no. Sorry. Coffee subscription. Okay, cool. Love it. So this is kind of what it would look like on the sign up. So this is the kind of thing that you want to do. Like you just want to kind of know what it looks like for a consumer. So subscribe and save. Love this so much. Weekly, monthly, bi-monthly. Perfect for a customer. Click here. Subscription details. 
subscription auto renew. So yeah, this is great. And then you can obviously go through and look at what it looks like at the checkout page. But that's kind of the due diligence that you want to do when you're looking up things like this is look at what are the things that I need? What are the bare bones? Can I afford the cost? And I think when it comes to a subscription box, you know, you don't want to, once customers sign up, you don't want to change, you know, you don't want to change into something else because that's going to be a nightmare to move customers over. So it's better to find one that you like. And sure, if it's like 50 bucks a month and you're not really making money yet, you know, if you're selling a $20 item, you only need 2.5 items to cover that cost. Just keep that in mind. It's better just to find one that you like and then focus on making money to cover the cost. So that is, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all things subscription apps. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as usual, we have a couple freebies and we have a, a free video for you that walks you through four ways to identify the best subscription box product for you. And then we also have a course called Subscription Box Launch Academy that helps walk you through how to create your first subscription box. Yay. All right, my friends, I will see you next week.